Dude, I want to get into this right here. How did you get involved? Aviation gin, what is yeah. going on? This is like, this is an American made gin. It's an American gin, a little smoother than our, it's British counterparts, a little more drinkable. Mm. Uh, wow, I sound like a pro. Yeah, you're actually getting uh, good at I really know nothing about gin. If I ran the company for real, it would be on fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, I, I was in Vancouver, and I'd, I'd been, I would, was shooting, and I was shooting a film up there, and I, I went to this one restaurant, I would order a Negroni, and then I was, it was the best Negroni I'd ever had in my life, and I went back there about eight more times before, before I finally asked the guy, what's in this? And he said it was aviation gin. So I did a little bit of research, and it won, uh, like, got like a 97 for wine, and it was like the highest rated gin ever for that particular uh, company, and, uh, and it was tiny, so I was able to meet some of the owners and weasel my way in as an owner. Where and I they, love it. Where is it's it amazing. based then? Uh, it's based out of Portland, Portland, Oregon. Cheers. Now, yeah. what, 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 is this just gin mm. and soda? That's, mine's just straight gin. Yours is lots of soda right there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Dude, it's fantastic. It's pretty great. It's yeah. refreshing. I know. So it's, it's been fun. It's been fun learning the kind of the ropes. You know, the, the liquor industry's kind of not unlike the, yeah, there you go. Kicking right in, huh? <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, I put you're, the, extra you're my in there. best friend. <laughs> you're my best friend. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Dude, it's tasty, man. I know, pretty good, right? Refreshing. I yeah. love it. But yeah, now, dude, do now you go to meetings now? Do you? Are you like loaded? You, yeah. Pretty no, much. no, yeah, no, no. I mean, no. <laughs> you go into the meetings and like talk about the company and like have yeah, to. Yeah, I, I kind of travel all over the country. I meet buyers. I do sort of stuff. It's like it's a real genuine responsibility. But it's not. It's not too dissimilar to the film industry. I mean, it's all sort of based on relationships and handshakes and you know. But what's weird and I found it so ironic was that the, it's the liquor industry where you actually have to be accountable. Like in the in the film business, you can you know if you're working on a movie, you can go out for a night of drinking and then you know miss work because you fell asleep on a stove. And uh, <laughs> no one's gonna really do much about it. But I the liquor like that's industry, a real story, it's hardcore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you no, can't, you don't mess up with those guys. Yeah, no, no, you can't. No. With this, uh, yeah. you, but you said uh, it's like it's jumping into everything. Like even jumping into Deadpool, you didn't know yeah. what what it was. Until... No, it was sort of a, the whole thing's been an amazing learning experience. But I sort of you gotta trust your gut on this kind of stuff. I mean, I mean, eleven years ago, I remember reading a Deadpool comic and feeling like this is a once in a lifetime connection. And then a few years later, I met my wife, and I was like, oh, I guess a once-in-a-lifetime connection can happen twice. And then, uh, <laughs> and then we had our children, and that's when I realized that I love gin. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was, I took the passion. <laughs> of course! I went deep of with the course. passion, right? <laughs> so that's when I bought, I bought aviation gin. That's yeah. fantastic, yeah. dude. Uh, uh, I know that you, uh, if you do go on vacation, uh, you have to have an out of office email reply yeah, to yeah. that people do, and you're not really used to those No, types of it's also formal. Yeah, suddenly I have a, a, a like a, a, a pseudo cyber office, and I have to be, again, I have to be accountable. So yeah. when, I'm, I, when I'm away, I have to uh, send out out of office emails. So if you email me at the company, you get a response back at least. And it's, yeah, yeah it's but do, fun. And, and some people told you to, you know, just keep it short and sweet. Keep it short, sweet. Out of the office. Nothing uh, personal. Not checking my emails. Be back, yeah. Yeah. So you, I went deep. This is six paragraphs long. Yeah. I just, just a, yeah, yeah. This is your out of office email. Yeah. Reply. We highlighted some stuff. Yeah, it was, it was fun. In case you wanted yeah, to. Just... It, was a, it was a bit of an overshare. I enjoyed it. It was, uh, yeah, I said, this is my only, only my second out of office reply. And from what I'm told, it should be short, sweet, never only personal, never personal. I said, this father's, this is a father's. I said, this is the perfect time to give your dad the best aviation American gin. I said, while my own father may be gone, the unspoken tension we shared is alive and well. <laughs> This Father's Day, you may not be able to give Dad a second chance, but you can give him a bottle of Aviation American Gin. <laughs> or, if he died before either of you could even begin to comprehend the importance of closure, just get yourself a bottle. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I mean, that's owner. just an out-of-office reply. Gin. Short and sweet. <laughs> yeah. Short and sweet, nothing too personal. I have one right now if you email me at Ryan at aviationgin.com. You can, uh, you can get one right now. I'll tell you exactly where I am. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, I will personalize it. for The Tonight Show, even. Yeah. You will? Yeah. So if you email Ryan at Aviation Probably Gin. shouldn't give my email address. Yeah, that's a big mistake, but you're going to get emails, dude. Works for everybody else. Works for politicians. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh... Uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, and it's on and on and on.